by driven a pro car, so they were coming for the first bit, so yeah, last time was a big crash. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I can't hear anything with this helmet. It's so the earmuffs are brilliant. It's James's American helmet, so it has like the massive earmuffs in it. So he doesn't have his ears blown out by the V8 out there, but I wish you can say anything you want to him, he can't hear you. Yeah. Um, it was fun yesterday in the yeah. Eurofighter. It's 
a long time since you've been driving. Yeah, it's been a while since I was driving, and uh, it was a local, like, uh, fun sprint. So, not a big event or anything, but it's nice. I enjoy going to smaller events too, and mm. we're doing some passenger rides for people. And, uh, it's just cool to see the reaction, the reaction people get. I'm so sorry, I'm like pointing a camera in your face at like 5.30 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let James Not drive, but I will let James drive. Um, That's so a good yeah, day. So. Yeah, so me and James have a house that we own each in each country, so wherever we kind of are, that's where it's home for that weekend. So I'm heading back to the UK now. Uh, we've been in Cork all this weekend. And then the next time I see you is probably in 10 days. I have a yeah, big hopefully. shoot on Tuesday. And I have a, a week of meetings and sorting things out. And I'm heading to Boston at the weekend to go snowboarding with a friend. And James will be heading out to Oman to find your car. Yeah, and cars can... actually shipped there. So that's been wrapped at the moment. And we're competing there in going out there for three weeks. Yeah. Competing in three competitions. So James is going out there for three weeks. So the next time I see him, we will be in 10 days, I think. Yeah, hopefully you can make it over. But yeah. you Wait, never know what our lives with, with work. Like you, you never do jobs could pop up for you. Yeah, that's the nature of it, though. It's the nature of the beast. Yeah. All right. I'm going to turn this camera off because I feel like yeah, it's light. Yeah, do lying. a reset when you wake up. Yeah. My eyes are puffy and everything. I am so asleep. I know. I like that. Cool. Right. Let's See go. you later. Right then, guys and girls. Oh my god i've had a manic few days i've been in vermont for the last few days i took a few days off to try and decompress before the seasonal starts i don't know how to explain to you how important it is to spend some time around nature good friends good vibes it is like soul refreshing so i have been in vermont the last time i left you was like 5 a.m because i was getting a me getting a plane to go to a meeting in london and then from there i had a couple of things to do i'm back i landed yesterday morning We've got the Alpine F1 and A424 launch today. So I've been doing a big project with their World Endurance team. So we'll finally see the A424 in the flesh, ready to race. Um, and some of the drivers there, actually Mick Schumacher is going to be there because he's driving the A424. Sorry, that's a bus. That's not classic. Right, lads, let's get into it. I'm late already. I'm literally just pulled up to start this video. So we're going to head to the Alpine Technology Center, which is in Enstow, of all places. There it is. All right, let's go. Hello, Patrick. Let's just have. I oh can my. see on the front. I don't know what. I was, I was like. Yeah, yeah lovely. Huh? So we have made it to the launch of the A524 and the A424. It's a little bit of a bun fight in here right now, but it is cool. The cars have been released. I feel like I really know the A424 after doing so much with them over the season whilst they were getting it ready to go. So it's kind of weird seeing everybody in this setting. I feel it's so official, and we've just been running around the pits. Uh, with these guys so it's great to see the drivers everyone's gearing up for a big season but yeah it is busy but we will take a closer look at the car in just a second i'll have a quick look i like the livery it's like with all the sponsor logos and things on the car the a424 looks sick last time we saw it it was just with the blue and the exposed carbon now we are fully liveried up I don't, really don't want to walk through someone's interview here because it looks important. It's important. It's the only thing with these launches, you can inadvertently walk through someone's conversation and then suddenly you're in the middle of a, a live <laughs> conversation. You're just that person that walks through and goes, Ugh! All right, how do we do this, Pat? Like, oh, I don't know. It's just go sit in it. I mean, it's not like I'm not so. sitting in it, oh. right? right. Oh. Delivery is really cool. Yeah, so it's like the original car that we've seen throughout the series, and then they've obviously added in the checkers, but we've got all of the. Yeah, slightly less red at the back, isn't it? Like yeah, they, they I blended love that in a bit. I like this H Moser. That's the watch partnership. Ah, ah, there you go. There you go. Business yeah. solver. That's me. <laughs> nah, it looks, it looks super cool. It looks so official all the time we've been running around it it's like we've just been part of the team and now we're here it's like oh this is actually like a proper exciting thing that looks great really cool to see it go from the beginning which was just a bare carbon shell to how we see it now i think it's a bit of a do you know what the exposed carbon is really cool yeah i mean and obviously I like it's it's always carbon underneath, but it's just, it's interesting oh, really? seeing. Yeah, no, I don't I know if you know. I thought it was fiberglass. No, nah, something to do plastic in some of them. I thought um, F1 cars were fiberglass. 
No, but Shocker. It's, my point was it's interesting to see where it all, like all of the different elements yeah, yeah, and panels, yeah. where it all connects. We've got a new front wing, this is all aero, aero Very impressive. Very characters here, there's Tom here, there's Paul, Supercars, like, Tom come here, I haven't actually seen you in ages, do you know weirdly I went Where's to get, going? I went, no I Is went there to, there licensing I can charge for? Oh my god, uh, someone's got a hypercar to pay for apparently. To my manager. Do you know, I got a coffee this morning, this guy was like, I've seen you somewhere before, I said, where have you seen me, I said, have you been in a video with a guy called TG, I was like, how, that was, that'll happen, that weapon. I think actually there is it. a video that we did when I picked up my classic uh, Targa. Yeah. It's now gone back into the Alga. It's doing about 50,000 views a month, which has got you in it. Remember I picked up that old turd? <laughs> I do remember you picked up that old turd. Like, Colville. Why? why you... Colville. I've never seen you in Leicestershire. Colville. We were there. There's video evidence and I bought a car <laughs> and it fell apart. Well, that's what you get. Anyway, good to see that you're here. Are you doing anything fun? Just looking at it. Oh, this year? Yeah, loads of stuff. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to moderate what I say. Yeah, loads of really cool stuff involving cars, Becky. Yeah. Right, it's good to see you anyway. Yeah, cheers. I'm excused now, yeah? Thanks. Get the Dior again. <laughs> Certainly check one day and actually be fine and it wasn't fine. I really like this. Do you? Like, yeah, like it's it's like stylish. a stylish. It's like a crochet like I don't know. Only my best clothes for RP. It's a look. I found a video the other day of me and you as well talking of finding videos. Uh, the one of us jumping the ranger. Yep. Oh my god, I'm gonna put that on. Iconic. The <laughs> well, we were basically in a field. We'd been told where there was a jump. <laughs> And I hadn't put my seatbelt on. <laughs> I thought I'd buckled up. I was fine, but like... You buckled up and then hit the jump at about 60 mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Not honestly. Perfect. We survived. It's all good. We're still friends. Yeah, I think I got a concussion for about five days, but... Oh, come on. No. Where's the claim? I was about to say, I was like, where's the claim? There's a claim. Stop. It happened like three years ago. <laughs> what do you think of the cars? Amazing. Yeah. This is one of my favourite bits there. Oh, the lights. The tail lights. Light. Yeah. No, it is class. It is really cool. I would love to see them both out on track together to see yeah. the speed difference. Yeah, because, I mean, it's only like 675 horse, this thing. 3.4 yeah. litre V6 single turbo. That's with the balance of performance, right? Yeah. But so it's... just, like, de-restrict it and see what it can do. Yeah, that's true. Do it, LP. Do it. Just for content. Yeah. Why not? It's a good idea. Okay, have you gone for the air intake, the carbon air intake on it? Yeah, have you got that? Right, so to do it. Like Rick doesn't want to put it in, he says I can play it in. Yeah, 
stage. Oh, he's doing that thing where they make you learn in stages. Like, because I used to fuck up my like gear shifts all the time. Now I'm on sequential, it's like so much easier. But anyway, it's 28.44. So I have been from been with you guys since conception. So we've watched it be designed, like go through all the tests and everything like that. So it's kind of crazy to see it here now. What's it like to drive? Very heavy. Heavy. Heavy car to drive. It's not a lie, you know, I'm coming from something like this. So jumping into that, it is a very different approach. Um, I've only really had one quality run okay. for now. Um, driving it was quite a bit different compared to a race run. Yeah. Uh, the approach is a bit more, let's say, okay, we'll load up the front for quality and then for, for the race we'll take it off. Um, I was to say, we, we have a lot of the energy management, so we lift off yeah. the throttle. Yeah, What's really smart is that the car learns a lot of that on its own, so like really progressively from lap to lap, decide to hey, if you keep on driving the way you do, you'll be able to do X amount of laps. Uh, if you keep you know, saving the amount you do, then you'll be able to do more laps or less laps. So yeah. it is a very smart and uh, very much a live car. Yeah, but that's great. Thank you so much for your time. I know you're super busy today. Keep up the drifting. Yeah, I will. Okay, so we have left the building and I've got a lovely new little goodie bag where I got a nice hat and I got a speaker and I got an Alpine bag. It's been a good day, Dan. It's been a good day. <laughs> Dan, my manager, never is on camera. So this is like a rare sighting of my manager. This is Dan Green. This is the guy that I've been with for six years. Long time. Since I started YouTube, this is the man that makes it all happen. Make sure that all the contracts are right make sure that I don't do anything stupid. Well, I mean, yeah, that's impossible, so. But yeah, okay, on to the next one. We are heading home to pack up, get sorted, head off to a man and do those emails that you asked me to do. Absolutely. Right then, gang, that is the vlog for tonight. I realized I didn't actually sign out the video. I just got in my car and was so fixated on coming home and getting packing. Uh, that I forgot to sign it out. So I'm here, bag is packed. We're leaving at 5.45 tomorrow morning to head to a man. What a sweetheart, Mick Schumacher is. Totally nice guy. And he's got E92 with E Venturi, air intake system. He's got R34 GTT and GTR. I was like, oh my God, it was a low mileage car that you're doing drifting. And he was like, it's 60,000 kilometers. I was like, that is a low mileage car for that kind of car. But he was super nice and really cool advocate for the sport. The fact that we've got like somebody who is so interested in drifting, who's at kind of the pinnacle of motorsport is super duper cool. So like big up to him for that. So I'm getting packed. That's the end of the vlog for this week. I'm gonna head out to the desert now and go see my boyfriend, uh, see how he gets on. Um, I'm only gonna be out there for 10 days because I can't take that much time off because I have work. Um, so yeah, 5.45, the alarm is on and we're gonna be heading to a man. So get ready for next week's vlog. Thanks for watching. Take care, all of you lot out there. Stay safe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon. Bye!